A potential trade war with China and heightened tensions have dominated investor attention for the last few months. Most economists, CEOs, and hedge fund managers who've come on our air have criticized the approach, except for some notable exceptions, which include our next guest. He is hedge fund investor Kyle Bass, joining us now in a CNBC exclusive. Haven Capital Management's founder, chief investment officer as well. Kyle, you and I talked it's a few months ago, or I know, at least at this point, uh, about the aluminum and steel tariffs, and you were sort of explaining the rationale behind them and why you supported them. Let's now fast forward to where we are now with this rhetoric back and forth. The president continues to say tariffs are going to be a benefit, and the Chinese saying they have time to fight to the end, and time will prove the U.S. eventually makes a fool of itself. Why won't we make a fool of ourselves? Yeah, I think, David, I think the, the key is to understand this in an in, in, in even larger picture than trade. And it's the, it's the geopolitics of China. You know, whether you look at the Defense Department reports or whether you look at the reports from the U.S. Trade Representative and Lighthizer's office, you see that we all know that China steals two to three hundred billion dollars a year of intellectual property from us. And they've done so for over a decade. And so what we're trying to do is counterbalance China's offensive. And China's offensive is both through economic coercion and even uh, given the fact that they believe in their own economic strength in the last uh, decade, now, that, now they're starting to translate that into geopolitical coercion, both with the One Belt, One Road and the debts that it offers to other countries, as well as its military uh, moving around a little bit more aggressively in the South China Sea. It's all rooted in the fact, uh, it's all rooted in, w with the basis of their, of their strong position in the globe economically and from a trade perspective. And, and literally, we're just pushing back a little bit. And we haven't pushed back since uh, Kissinger and Nixon pivoted to China to counterbalance Russia in the early 1970s. I know that's a long uh, time continuum, but it's, it's really important for us to try to uh, level the playing field a little bit here.